Hello everyone, I'm Carly and this is Zoo to You Virtual Safari. Today we are featuring zebras again because we just can't get enough of our three ladies and our new cult Kylo. Our new cult Kylo. That's a tough like one it. to say. <laughs> so with me today I have Jesse again. So he'll be taking those awesome questions you guys have all about zebras. Are they black with white stripes? Are they white with black stripes? Are they born with stripes? Anything you can think of. He's got the answer. <laughs> He says, no, no, he does not. <laughs> so start leaving your questions. I want a few more people to jump in. Just comment, say hello. Let me know you're there so that we can throw in this fun enrichment item into the, they, the zebras are so ready for this enrichment. It's a ball with some food in it. So who doesn't love that? Hi from Nate and Zach. Hi there, you guys. Hey, Lala, great to see you. Hi, Max. All right, I think we got enough people. Let's turn this around and have some fun. Are you ready? Yes, hi Addison. I think they're ready. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so at everybody. first it's gonna freak them out a little bit. It's just a loud noise. You'd probably run if someone threw a ball at you. Some Vindel's brave, it's fine. <laughs> and now they're going back Sorry, over there. So it's sort of like one of those puzzle feeders that you'd maybe give your dog. As they roll, it'll drop a treat out. So they're encouraged to roll it around to get more treats. Hi from Tallahassee. Hi to Stephanie, Rebecca, Jackson and Presley. Nancy, great to see you all. Thanks for joining in. Hi from Paige and Ashley. Thanks for joining us, you guys. So let's introduce our three over here because we know Kylo will eventually make his way back. Yeah, so the one up front is Kylo's mom, Farah. Farah. The one behind is going to be Zinfandel. And then the one on the far left is Topaz, the one actually uh, <laughs> using the enrichment that we yeah. threw in there. So Topaz, Zinfandel, and Farah. Yep. And then Kylo is he back there. He got a there. little freaked out, so he's hanging out back there. <laughs> yeah. Kind of he's he's going to have to kind of come what back kind of and that? get it's interested again. So apple and oat biscuits they have and apple carrots. and oat biscuits and carrots <laughs> mm -hmm. in this ball. There you go. Carrot just dropped out. Carrot came out. So way to go, Topaz. Keep getting those treats. <laughs> so this is just one of the many different enrichment items. They really like uh, balls. They can push around with their nose. That big red, yellow, blue one is also really popular. So sometimes you'll see them pushing that around. Uh, just a lot of people saying hello and that they love zebras. So if you have questions, let us know. Um, why don't you answer the age old question? Black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. They do have black skin. So if you want to think all the way down to their skin, it's going to be black with white stripes. But when you look at their stripe pattern, they do have that white belly. So a lot of people still say white with black stripes. I'm more of the black skin uh, camp, so I'll say black with white stripes. It is debatable, I there guess. You go. Nate is seven. He loves to know what the favorite enrichment items are of all the animals. I think a lot of them are just puzzle feeders. So you'll see that she's rolling this ball. We have an apple that hangs back there that they just push with their nose and treats come out. Uh, <laughs> any animal really is going to enjoy a, a puzzle feeder that's going to give them a nice edible treat at the end. I feel like if she doesn't get a treat soon, she's going to Oh, I know. She might be. <laughs> that tail's wagging a little oh, bit. Oh, we'll we got two carrots dropped out go. right there. Uh, Jackson is six. He wants to know how old they all are. Okay. So the one up front here, that's going to be Topaz. She's 17. Uh, Zinfandel, the one just behind her, is our oldest at 25. And Farah, our one wandering way in the back for a drink of water, is 23. Oh, and then Kylo actually just turned a month on the 13th. Oh my gosh, so Kylo is just over a month old. Yep. He's getting so big, so fast. He's he still is. mostly legs. He is mostly <laughs> legs, which, you know, those will grow in time. He'll grow into it. He's still a little wobbly on them, so <laughs> it's pretty fun to watch. I kind of saw Mom nudge him out of the way when you were coming out here with the food. True, like, no, 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 it's time for me to get a treat. <laughs> exactly. Is he eating solids yet or still nursing? So he is, yeah. I just saw him this morning eating out of a hay feeder with, I believe it was Zinfandel and um, Farah. But he will nurse for around eight months. Um, so yeah, he is still nursing as well. Still nursing, but enjoying some food. Crystal wants to know, do zebras like watermelon? Do they like watermelon? Honestly, I've never given it to them, but I don't see why they wouldn't. Watermelon <laughs> is amazing. Uh, a couple of people asking about the average lifespan of zebras. Uh, so in the wild, they can get to around 18 to 20 years. And uh, in, uh, in zoos, they can actually make it to about 30 years. Zoos, they can make it to 30 years. Mm -hmm. So ours are doing well. Yep. Um, let's see. What other questions do you got for zebras? Nothing right now. We'll just, just a quick update on Kylo. Oh, though. yeah. So when he was first born, he really stuck close to mom, Farah, and they kind of formed a bond in that they would kind of separate themselves like now mm -hmm. uh, from the other two zebras. But now he's actually allowed to kind of venture off on his own. He's oh, been making exciting. buddies with Zinfandel particularly. And we just weighed him this morning. Does anyone have any guess 
for what his weight is. Ooh, well, okay. So put in the comments your guesses for his weight. We'll take a few more questions, watch them a little bit more. I'll give you a hint. His first weight, like two weeks ago, was 120 pounds, and he okay. is up from that. All right. Ooh, um, Amanda has a great question. Oh, yes. Go ahead, Amanda. Oh, my gosh. Human citizen Amanda. Uh, why do their manes stand up? That is a great question, human citizen Amanda. I actually don't know the answer to that, but if you notice Farah, that's one way I tell her apart from the others in that her mane just kind of droops a little bit. So yeah. that's one way I identify her. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> you stumped him. I mean, that's she, right. I think Amanda got stumped on her life, so she wanted to stump Did you. Did <laughs> she? Oh, that citizen Amanda. Uh, no, it is very cool how their stripes kind of just continue on into the mane. Mm -hmm. It is very awesome. Um, so Daphne's guessing 200, Crystal says 175, we got a guess for 65, okay. so a lot above like 150, between 150 and 200 right now. Okay. I want him to come closer so you all can make a better educated we are guess. Trying. He's, he's I think thinking he's about over it. that ball now. <laughs> it was pretty comes, scary. Here he comes through the flowers. There he is. Oh, he's so handsome. One other cool thing is while we were weighing him this morning, we were trying to get him to take uh, a reward from our hand, and he got so close, oh. but not yet. He was sniffing the hand like, what is that exactly? Uh, but Maybe he'll take, has he enjoyed a puzzle feeder ball himself yet? He has, yes. I Looks believe like we just posted a video about it. <laughs> he uh, kind of fell on one, but uh, got <laughs> up like nobody saw that, right? I'm fine. Everything's fine. He's good. He's so there good. you go. Look at him go. Oh, he's like... Maybe I can just stick my tongue in there and get a snack. <laughs> if you were a draft, that would probably help, buddy. Unlikely, Kyla. You gotta roll it. That's right. Stop, you're doing the wrong thing right now. Um, <laughs> someone's guessing 525 pounds. That would be impressive. Uh, I'll that would be you... Juna or <laughs> Rhino. <laughs> I will give you another hint. Mom Farah is about 800 pounds. Uh, and then, let's see, Zinfandel, I believe is... I believe that's Zinfandel. She's about 770 and Topaz is around 790. So uh -huh. probably not around 500. Yeah, a yeah. little bit less maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to let a couple more guesses come in and then we'll say it. Oh my gosh. What do you think a, a zebra's best sense is? They have these really big ears for listening. Mm -hmm. Can they um, smell really well? They can smell fairly well. And then really that eyesight that they have. So they have those large eyes on the side of their head. That helps them see almost 360 degrees. Really, they just kind of have to turn that head to see behind them. So really, I would say it's between hearing and eyesight. All right, I think we got all the guesses in. Okay. So why don't you reveal how big Kylo is? He is 148 pounds. 148. Mm -hmm. So if you guessed anywhere five pounds on either side of that, give yourself a W for the win. Yep. Wyatt, you were so close at 134. <laughs> Catherine, you're a little heavy. He's only 148. He'll get there. Whatever your guesses were, he'll yeah, get there. Yeah, he will get there. No one had super outrageous guesses. That's right. Um, but he's just such a little tiny thing. <laughs> will he kind of grow into those legs a little more he over the will next grow couple into, months. Yeah, he will grow into those legs. And then actually what's also kind of cool is if you notice his stripes right now are kind of that brownish color. As mm -hmm. he ages, he will make he will turn black. I think about a year it takes and he'll get more black stripes as opposed to that kind of fuzzy brown. And he'll lose that kind of fuzzy look on his on the back of his Yeah. Head. What age do they, um, are they full grown? So they can stay with their parents for up to about three years and they, they call maturity around three to five years. Three to five years. Mm -hmm. He'll be able to breed at three years. Uh, Paige is nine. She wants to know if they're related to horses. So they are. They are in the family Equidae, but they're kind of uh, a more distant relative. Uh, I believe they make a sound much like a donkey. So I'm not going to say they're related to donkeys, but okay. kind of not really the, your typical horse you'll have at home. Have they ever tried to domesticate zebras? No. Well, the Grevy zebra, no. They are officially never been domesticated. Never been domesticated. These guys are on their own. That's right. I they wouldn't try. They don't listen to anyone. Not even us. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> um, so let's explain where our dad Bakari is. Bakari is in a separate yard. So when you find these guys in the wild, you're going to find loose herds of like 20 to 30 individuals. And that can change day to day. Like I said, a loose herd, it's not really compact. The biggest bond amongst zebras that you're gonna find is between a mother and her foal. Um, so kind of they'll come and they'll, they'll join up, they'll form another herd, and then males will defend a territory, kind of their own territory that they stick with. And then if a female happens to wander in and they do breed, that would, that's kind of where that happens. 
Um, but and there will be bachelor males sometimes amongst those uh, loose herds, but really males are going to defend a territory. So that's kind of why he's separated from them right now. Yeah. Hey, Dominic, you are looking at grevy zebras. So what's the difference between a grevy zebra and other zebras? So they are the largest of the zebras. Uh, they do have that white belly and their stripes do go all the way down their legs. That's different than other zebra species. Um, yeah. Someone just kicked and said, get Farrah's away from Pharaoh's getting a little antsy, I think. <laughs> she Although, what is that? Is that Topaz still working that, yeah. uh, that enrichment? She can hear it. She knows there's something in there, so that's yeah. good. Uh, does Kylo have a favorite treat? Um, so far, I have seen him nibble on the, the biscuit that I just threw to him that was meant for him, but Pharaoh <laughs> stole and said. Um, he will eat the biscuits. Uh, sometimes it takes him a couple tries, though. He's uh, <laughs> not very good at it yet. A lot of people are wondering how long we'll keep uh, Kylo with mom and the other girls? Well, that depends. As he grows older, he may start to show interest in them, which, um, you know, we generally don't encourage. So uh, there is a higher power than me called the SSP, the Species Survival Plan. They'll determine based on genetics of, you know, Farah, Bakari, him, uh, where he should go, maybe to become a breeder. And uh, basically I get told, hey, you're moving a zebra here at this time. <laughs> so yep. uh, yeah, they'll decide that as he grows older, but we'll probably keep him at least a year or more. Oh yeah. So Wyatt, Kylo is a male zebra. So we have three females in this yard. He is a male. Yes. Obviously one of them is his mom and he probably wouldn't be recommended to breed with the other two. No, probably not. No. So uh, we, we wouldn't want that to happen. Right. Um, Dominic says grubby zebras also have a distinct stripe marking on their back hips. Well, thank you for that. See, he's a docent at the St. Louis Zoo. Oh, so awesome. he knows quite a bit. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. It's really fun to have all these people watching with us. Oh my gosh, they're so cool to watch. Like tigers, if you shaved a zebra, would they have stripes on their skin? No, so they do just have a solid black skin. Just a solid black skin. Mm -hmm. Is every stripe unique the way a fingerprint would be? So yes, that is actually one way uh, different zebras will tell each other apart is their call is different. And then each stripe pattern is unique in that they can recognize it and know who is who. What are the predators of zebras in the wild? So, uh, um, wild dogs, African wild dogs, lions, and leopards. But really, these guys, that the size that they are and the health that they are, um, no one's really going to want to take them down. Kylo there would be a prime suspect if you oh. were a predator, as would like a, a geriatric older animal or perhaps an animal that is sick in some way. Yeah. So what are some of the um, adaptations that zebras have to protect themselves so from those So they can run about 35 miles an hour. So a good way to get away from a predator. And then they'll also uh, kick. They can kick backwards. And uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to test it, but it would probably hurt really, really bad to be kicked by one of these guys. And how about the purpose of those stripes? Oh, the stripes. Yes. So uh, they do run in a herd. So that means they all kind of run together and those stripes act as a camouflage. So um, when they're all running together and you see those stripes, you may not know where one animal ends and the next begins. So a predator may see it and think, well, that's one giant animal. I can't take that down. And so it's a good way to help camouflage uh, individual animals. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to believe that, you know, black and white stripes that are so distinct could yeah. be camouflage in the wild, That's but true. it is when it you works. work together, teamwork. <laughs> That's right. And what is the natural habitat of the grubby zebra? So they're going to have much drier grasslands, kind of, we have a kind of open grass and somewhat grassy area <laughs> here, but yeah, they're going to have a uh, grassy, dry, uh, open areas. Uh, they get a lot of the moisture they need from the food that they eat um, in that they don't really ha they can go a couple days without actually drinking water. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, do moms get defensive of their babies? Wyatt wants to know. Yes. So, I mean, even we saw it with, you know, her herd mates when they were trying to form that bond and stick together, Farrah would get kind of uppity with them and say, mm -hmm. you know what? No, I need to spend some time with my little one. And uh, they obviously would defend against a predator as well. Ethan wants to know, why is their skin black? That's just how they're born? Yep. That's a great question, <laughs> Ethan. I don't actually know the reason. <laughs> we don't really know. Nope. Uh, what kind of maintenance or kind of husbandry care, as what I assume Nancy's asking, do our zebras require? Mm -hmm. So we do, uh, we'll do, like obviously we do the weighing for them. That's inside the barn. There's a little area where we put the scale and they just walk right across it, no problem. Um, we have uh, a cattle gate way back there. Uh, we get them to line up against that cattle gate and they can take, uh, some of them can take hand injection for their vaccinations. Um, and then, you know, hoof care is probably on the docket, but unfortunately we are not to the point uh, of working on any of their hooves. Oh, all right. So no, that, that would be a no for your question, Joy. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of good training. I'm so sorry, Topaz. I am <laughs> She's out. all I, the way over here I like. so many already and we're out. <laughs> 
She's so part. curious. You know, last time I talked about them, I mm -hmm. didn't have a, a way to tell her. I was able to tell what I saw on the other two. If you look very closely at her muzzle between her eyes and her nose, she has just a little scar there. Just That's one way scar. I tell Topaz. She also has the smallest tail out of all of them. Oh, the smallest tail mm -hmm. and a little scar. That's yep. for Topaz. Yep. Kylo's way back there. We do want him to come up, but you know, he's not really into treats yet. He doesn't know true. his name really, probably. Not uh, really, no. So, um, you of know. I threw him too quick. Yo, know, that's okay. Sorry, Zin. <laughs> yeah, they're like, wait, wait, what? So <laughs> it looks like Zinfandel has a lot of like whiskers around her. She nose. has all the whiskers out of all the zebras, <laughs> yes. And then if you look at her chest, she has that black band with a very large white spot on that right side. Uh, it's like she maybe spilled a glass of wine. Oh, it's a little spot there. She's just a little messy girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as I said before, Farah has that kind of droopy mane, and she's the largest out of all of them. Some people are asking, can they swim? Uh, I believe it's more of like a hop through the water, but I think if push came to shove, yes, they can swim. Uh, Noah wants to know, do they rely on a particular sense more than others? He can see they have very active ears. Yes, yeah, so if you watch their ears, they're constantly swiveling, almost giving them, well, basically giving them 360 degrees around their head. So they're constantly paying attention, getting all the information around them. So yeah, they're, they're definitely relying on that hearing right now. Watching us, you can see her nostrils flaring, probably <laughs> sniffing for a treat. You know, she's wondering if there's anything. Is there probably anything left in the puzzle theater? They abandoned uh, that pretty possible. quickly. <laughs> And they've got their hay over yeah, there that they the like too. There might be. Our zebra's browsers or grazers? They are a grazer. So what's uh, what's unique about the way their teeth are is they do have teeth both on the upper and lower jaw in the front, and that's for nibbling the grasses on the ground. Uh, a browser would have only teeth on teeth on the bottom jaw mm -hmm. for pulling leaves off of a branch. Like they a can hard be. On top. Mm -hmm. They can be a browser if uh, if they oh. kind of find something good and if it necessitates it. They can't find enough vegetation on the ground, but they're mostly a grazer. We have a question from Genius Child May. She's four years old and Excellent. she wants to know how did zebras evolve. <laughs> that is a great question from a genius child. Um, I mean, over time they just broke off and evolved stripes? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, actually. Oh, May, we're going to need you to go to college right now yeah. and study it. And also send us back some information on that. Yes, like please. Do your, get your PhD and how zebras evolved. Please, <laughs> May. Uh, Lala wants to know, do they bite at each other? Kind of nip or kick? They do. I mean, we kind of saw it earlier with Farah. She, uh, somebody got too close to her backside and she kind of brought her legs up but didn't actually kick. And they will nip at each other uh, if they're hogging the food or anything like mm -hmm. that. That's why we have several feeders throughout the yard, so they have several different spots to go. How do they handle our colder days here? So they, all of our animals have temperatures where they do get access to like a warmer barn. I mean, you can see right now they have access if it's, it, it's a little bit cooler in the barn there. Um, surprisingly, they handle it well. Uh, they can get down into in the lower temperatures, but they do have that warm space to go if they yeah. need to heat up. They're not like our camels or Chevalsky horses that love being no, outside No, they're the definitely, cold. yeah, they're definitely not super uh, adapted to it, but I mean, they, they can tolerate it very they're well. They're very different like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> do they like the rain? How do they feel when it's like storming here? <laughs> I will tell you, they are like, open that door, I'm getting wet. Oh, Even no. though in the wild, I'm sure it rains and they don't melt, but uh, ours may be a little pampered in that they want to come right in because they're they're going to melt. Um, how about vocalizations? Yeah, so they do bray much like a donkey. Um, and actually, we have heard uh, Kylo attempting it. Oh. It's uh, not great yet, but he'll also grow into that, I think. Oh, I would love to hear that. He's just like watching mom, if but not close. If we can get close. it recorded, we will. Not Here close to mom. her? <laughs> she she might have gone inside. I think she went inside, yeah. I hmm. think she's, it is pretty hot here today. Cool, Farrah. Uh, Lydia wants to know which way do they chew grass, up or down or side to side grinding? I do believe it's side to side ground, grinding. Side to side grinding. I believe. I can't quote me on that. <laughs> no, they definitely, you know, like any kind of horse would. It's, yeah. about, it's more that like grinding cud maneuver. All right, everyone. I'm going to make my last call for questions. We are yeah. in the direct sunlight. I think this phone might overheat and turn off on me any moment. And you guys have stumped me several times. <laughs> I so know. You know. We're ready to. <laughs> Jesse's going to like go back to the barn and do a ton of research. Do a ton of research. Ready next time. He wants to be ready for next time. So, oh, Daphne's wondering how often do they have babies? Really? I mean, like I said, they can stick with their parents for around three years. If they do have a calf, they generally won't have another. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. How long is the gestation? It's about 13 months. 13 months. Mm -hmm. You can actually go to Denver Zoo's website. We have a recent uh, article on our Zoo Tales blog 
uh, about our little baby boom that happened <laughs> during quarantine while the zoo was closed. Not all the animals were conceived in that period, no, no. but we had a bunch a born. born yeah. So Kylo is new, we have a bongo, we have uh, lion cubs. So mm -hmm. uh, you can read all about our new babies on our website if you go to denverzoo.org slash zoo tales. Uh, Wyatt joined in a little late. He's wondering, are they all the same age? No, they're not. So let's see, this one here is Topaz. She is 17. Uh, Zinfandel there is our oldest at 25, and Farrah way back there is 23, mm -hmm. with Kylo being just over a month old. So it looks like, it's kind of hard to tell through the camera, but it looks like Kylo is sort of trying to bend down to nurse. Possibly, On yeah. mom right now. Uh, yes, Lala, Juna as well. Juna was born right before we closed, but she has made all those strides and milestones <laughs> during the closure. Definitely. Um, hi, Jessica. We are open to the public now. Go to DenverZoo.org to find out how to get tickets and all of our new policies and procedures. Luke wants to know how high they can jump. So they're not like a domesticated horse in that they're jumping over those like, you know, three foot high barriers or whatever like that. But I'd say, you know, maybe a foot, foot and a half. Maybe a foot. I mean, we once saw Kylo try to clear one of these logs. That's he, true. He didn't quite do it, Well, <laughs> but he made the attempt. It's those legs. He's got to grow into them. <laughs> he does have to grow. He's got to get confidence. That's right. But I'm pretty sure he like tripped over that log that's half in the ground. He's tripped over a couple <laughs> things, but you know what? He just keeps on trying. Is gracefulness just a natural quality or is it a... a <laughs> Learned I think it's behavior. a learned behavior. I think Farrah there might want to up her uh, grace game. <laughs> she she needs to teach him a little bit. He's She's got going that nice little swagger right now. Let's but, see uh, if we can just stretch a little bit longer till Kylo yeah, comes back. Come a little closer. They like this shade and they like the grass. I can't believe we gave up on the puzzle feeder so early. We did. Yeah, no, you Topaz, give it a try. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, she's got to fly. Oh, no. It is fly season here. Arch enemies. Oh, there's a little chuff from, from the zebras. One of their vocalizations. All right, here comes Kylo. He's coming back. Slowly but surely he's making his way. Coming back into the fold here. He's like, hey, everyone else is getting some grass. I'm going to get some grass. Give it a try, Topaz. Oh. There might be something. Uh, <laughs> uh. So close. Oh, oh I there's hear something. There's totally something in there. <laughs> she says, well, I see a bucket. <laughs> she looked up at it. <laughs> and there's little Kylo with mom. So you can kind of see when they're all standing like that, just how you would kind of be dis distracted or confused by sure. the sight of that many standing together. So imagine just a huge herd of these black and white stripes. You wouldn't want to try to take that mega animal down either. Definitely not. Um, let's see. Lala wants to know, do they like apples? They do, yeah. So those biscuits I had are called apple and oat biscuits, but we will uh, cut up regular apples, sometimes sweet potatoes for them. Mmm. They get very healthy diets. They eat they better do. than I do. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I, I do not. So there's Kylo for you all. He's getting so big and he's ready to see all of his fans. So definitely make sure you go to our website and Get yourself a ticket. We cannot wait to see you all and thank you all for your support and all of the awesome questions and comments and emails about our virtual safaris. We love doing these even after we're open because we know not everyone's going to be able to make it back here right away. So thank you to Jesse for the time and answering all those questions and getting the zebras some treats so that they'd be all active for us. We really appreciate it, y'all. So we will talk to you tomorrow. And that's Kylo saying bye.